Originally, Peter Zeberger's passion was archaeology. But today, it's chemistry. More specifically, the chemistry of sugar. Not of the sugar in his coffee, though. It's all about long and complex sugar molecules. Chemists call them glycans. Glycans can be found, for example, on every cell of our body, but also on every bacterium, and on parasites, such as the malaria pathogen. After years of research, Peter Zeberger has found a way to produce these glycans artificially. It opens up entirely new possibilities in medicine. I'd like to do something new, and ideally, something that lasts. And as a chemist, of course, you're able to create things yourself that didn't exist before. In other words, we can make new molecules that were previously unknown, and possibly also help people with new drugs or vaccines. One reason that glycans are so interesting for medicine is that every pathogenic bacterium, Every species and every strain has its very own sugar chains. They're like the fingerprint of a pathogen. It's precisely this that makes glycans an ideal point of attack for our immune system. If you educate the human immune system to recognize these sugars on the cell surface as a foreign body and then create an immune response, that is, produce antibodies, then you have the basis for vaccine production. The focus is on multi-drug resistant hospital bacteria, such as Staphylococcus aureus or Klebsiella pneumoniae. They can hardly be defeated with antibiotics any longer and kill 700,000 people worldwide each year. And the number is rising. If patients could be immunized against these pathogens in advance with sugar vaccines, many lives could be saved. The problem is that developing sugar vaccines using conventional methods costs billions and takes years. That is precisely what Peter Zeberger wanted to change. It was important for me to access these sugars faster, more effectively, and thus more cheaply. Because for basic research, you also need defined sugar molecules for basic biological processes to be understood. Once they've been made, you can start considering applications in the medical field. That's why it was clear to us that we had to speed up this process, make it cheaper and make it more efficient overall. Producing sugar chains as if on an assembly line with a sugar synthesizer. Peter Zeberger worked on the idea for 20 years. Building the machine itself wasn't the problem. The difficulty was developing the chemical building blocks for automatic synthesis. But finally, Peter Zeberger and his team found a way. The first sugar block is bound to a carrier molecule. Its connection points are blocked by a kind of chemical protective cap. Then, exactly the right protective cap required for bonding to the next sugar block is released. This principle is repeated with every additional module. And, section by section, the sugar chain steadily grows. The sugar synthesizer pumps individual sugar blocks and solutions into the synthesis chamber, computer controlled, again and again. This creates complex sugar chains. It's cheap and fast, goes exactly according to plan and to order, and takes only a few days. In this way, Zeberger is revolutionizing sugar chemistry. His sugar machine is enabling new research and the development of new drugs and vaccines. Some vaccines are already being tested in clinical trials, including ones to combat the multi-drug resistant bacterium Klebsiella pneumoniae. At first, I'd hoped that others would implement it and have companies take it over. But it was clear, of course, that much of what we did was very basic, very new, and partly revolutionary as well. And of course, it was difficult at first to convince companies. That's why, a long time ago, we began to set up our own companies and then push ahead with these ideas ourselves. After all, I'd really like to see my basic research results in application. Sugar chemistry is not the only field that Peter Zeberger could alter significantly. 
With so-called continuous flow chemistry, his team has found a way of producing an anti-malaria drug. One that's far cheaper and faster than before. Millions of children could benefit from that. Peter Zeberger's research continues to move the world. <laughs>